Franklin's test. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He had won a blue ribbon for swimming and a trophy for playing soccer. But one day, Franklin won something that maybe he shouldn't have. Daisy, window, chair, pencil. Well done. All right. You all know how to read our new words. Let's see how many we can spell. Who would like to go first? I'll go me, first. Me, I'll me, 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 me. I'll do it. it. Easy. Bear. Let's see you give it a try. Hmm. All right, Bear. Spell the word Daisy. Daisy. It is? Well, Bear, we are trying to learn to spell from memory. I'll give you a little hint. The next letter is an I. I. Oh, yeah. S. Y. Daisy. Absolutely right, Bear. Well done. Now, who's next? Very good, Goose. You're all doing very well with your spelling. I think you're ready for a test. On Thursday, we'll see how well you know the words we've learned over the past few weeks. And for those of you who spell all your words correctly, I have something special. <gasps> wow, look at those! One of these colorful pens. Excuse me, Mr. Owl, but since I'm going to get all the words right anyway, could I have my pen now? I'd like to write the test with it. I'm sorry, Beaver, but you'll have to write the test first. <laughs> I'm sure if all of you practice spelling your words, you'll do very well, pens or no pens. F L O W E R. Flower. W I N D. You're certainly going to be well prepared for that spelling test tomorrow. Yeah, Bear and I have been practicing really hard. <laughs> they must be very fancy pens to go to all this trouble. Oh, they are, and I'm going to make sure I know my words so I get one. I can see one word that's going to take a little more practice. Where? Which one? Show me. This one. Pencil is spelled P-E-N-C-I-L. That's only one mistake. You're doing great. But I don't want to make any mistakes. I want one of those pens. The important thing is you're learning how to spell. No, Dad. The important thing is spelling every word right. P-E-N-E-N-C-I-L. Good. I got it right that time, Sam. Tomorrow, I'll spell it just like that. But what if I don't? What if I forget? P-E-N-C-I-L. I know it now. I won't forget. I know. I'll just put it in here for good luck. Next, spell kitchen. Kitchen. And now we come to the very last word on the test. Pencil. That's pen -sil.
When you're finished, don't forget to put your name at the top of the page. That I got them sense. all yeah, right. I was know easy. it. Table, clock, desk, school, kitchen, and pencil. All correct. Very good. Yes! Congratulations and enjoy your pen. You've earned it. I did it, Bear. I got a pen. Nice going, Franklin. Keep your fingers crossed for me. I will. So far, so good, Bear. Table, clock, desk, school, kitchen, and... Oh, dear. I've spotted an error on your last word. Aww. But you still get something for trying your best. I do? What? A space sticker. Oh, neat. I came this close to winning a pen. I only had one word wrong. Which one? Pencil. Oh, that's a tough word. I'll never spell it wrong again, that's for sure. What's the matter? You tried your best, and you're my friend. I should share my pen with you. Here, you borrow it for a while. Thanks, but I want to win my own pen. That one's yours. Hey, don't worry about me, Franklin. I'll get a pen next time. Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> hey, quit it. <gasps> Pencil? I just had it in my hat for good luck. But did you look at it during the test? I peeked at one letter. That's all. But that's not fair, Franklin. That's cheating. Hi there, son. Uh, hi. Well, how did it go? Uh, what? Your test. The one you've been preparing for for the past three days? Oh, fine. Mr. Owl said I did a good job. I I've got to put my stuff away. I have the feeling he didn't do as well on that test as he expected. I have the very same feeling. And I know how much you wanted one of those pens. Maybe it's time to remind Franklin that the value of a good honest try is worth more than a pen. I'll come with you. Franklin? Are you all right? Uh-huh. You may not have gotten all the words right on your spelling test, but your father and I still think... I did get them all right. Oh, <laughs> very good. So you did get a pen. Yeah. Well, don't keep us in suspense. Let's have a look at it. There it is. Why did you put it in the garbage? Is there something you want to tell us, Franklin? I spelled all the words right because I peeked at this. Oh. It doesn't feel right winning the pen this way, does it? No. Bear's right. I didn't win it fair and square. I cheated. What should I do? That's something you should decide. But I think you know inside what will make you feel better. something. I'll just put it on your desk. Uh, just a minute, Franklin. Why are you giving me back your pen? I had one of the spelling words inside my cap, and I looked at it during the test. I see. I know I shouldn't have done it. It's just that I really wanted to win one of those pens. But now I think you should have it back. 
Sometimes we think too much about rewards and not enough about what it takes to earn them. Like I thought more about getting the pen than learning how to spell. Exactly. Tell you what, I'll hold on to this for a while. <laughs> After all, there will be more tests. Thanks, Mr. Owl. Next time, I'll win it fair and square. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Franklin and the Duckling Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could care for his toy dog, Sam, and Goldie, his goldfish. But one day... Franklin had something to care for that took a lot more of his time than he had planned. Come on, Bear. The water's not so cold once you get used to it. I know. It's the getting used to it part I don't like. I'll race you to that log. On your mark. Wait! I'm not used to the water yet. Get set. I'm not racing, Franklin. I'm not. What was that? A duckling! Look, it's coming over! Hi there. We're swimming in your backyard, aren't we? I wonder what it wants. <laughs> Maybe it thinks you're its mom. You think so? Try swimming away and see what it does. Starting to get cold, Franklin. Let's go. What about this little duck? Should we take him with us? I don't think so, Franklin. Why not? Because its home is here at the pond. Where's its mom and dad, then? I don't see any big ducks, do you? Well, no, but... We can't just leave the little guy here all by himself. I suppose not, but... Then we have to take him with us. I'd be worried about him if we didn't. We could take turns looking after him, Bear. This week he could stay at my house, and next week he could stay with you. I don't think my mom and dad will let me, and I don't think yours will either, Franklin. How come? Remember that time your mom found those frogs in the bathtub? Oh, yeah. She told you that frogs belong in the pond, not in the house. <sighs> and she made me take them right back. I'll have to keep this duckling a secret. Where are you going to hide it? Hmm, in my bedroom, I guess. <laughs> With the door closed. I'm going home for lunch. Don't forget we have a soccer game today. Yeah, I won't. See you later, Franklin. Bye. Hello, Franklin. Did you have a nice swim at the pond? My swim? Oh, yeah, my swim. It was fun. Now that you're here, maybe we can work together and finish this job. Uh, no, I'll do it, Mom. You don't have to help me. Oh, all right then. Thank you, Franklin. What? 
Don't just throw everything in the closet, all right? Okay, I won't. Good. I'll head out to the garden. Phew! Shh! That was close. You've got to be really quiet, okay? This is my buddy, Sam. You make friends with him while I find you a nest. This should work. There, that's better, isn't it? Shh! You sure make a lot of noise. Oh, I know. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Duckling is going to love the meals I make. You don't get corn crunchies down at the pond. Having a little snack before lunch, are we, Franklin? Uh, I was feeling, uh, uh, a little bit hungry. Go ahead. I didn't see a thing. Thanks, Dad. It was... I mean, uh... uh Care for a corn crunchy deer? Hey, how'd you get down there? Ew, yuck. I forgot about that. Here, you have something to eat, and I'll put down some newspapers before that happens again. Gee, for such a small guy, you sure make a lot of noise. <sighs> and a lot of mess. <sighs> You've got my whole room. Why do you want to be on this spot? Franklin, <gasps> lunch is ready. Okay. Look. If I'm going to take care of you, you're going to have to help me a little, okay? And that means trying to be more quiet. And not getting into stuff. And when are ducks old enough to look after themselves? I suppose when their feathers and wings are fully grown, and they don't need the constant care of their parents. And they fly south as soon as it's autumn, right? That's right. You're very interested in ducks all of a sudden, Franklin. Uh, well, they're kind of neat, don't you think? Yes, they are. Sure. Um, I just remembered. I've got a soccer game. I'd better get ready. Looks like we've got to get you another hiding spot. You're getting into too much mischief in here. Are you sure you brought the paper in? Yes, I'm sure. I had the crossword puzzle half finished. Bye, Mom. I can't be late for my soccer game. I'll see you later. Have fun. Okay. You can't still be hungry. Do you want it to rain again? Again. You sure need a lot of looking after. Looks like I won't be playing much soccer this summer. Or anything else, either. Oh, hello, Bear. Hi. I've come to get Franklin for soccer. He's late, and everybody's waiting for him. That's strange. He left nearly a half hour ago. Yes, he was in quite a hurry. He didn't want to be late. I wonder where he is. Well, you know how Franklin can get sidetracked. First, we'll check around the house, and then we'll call around to some of his friends. Franklin! 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 Hmm. Hey, there's his soccer stuff! 
Franklin? Hi, Bear. Oh, there you are. Thank goodness you're safe. What are you doing in here, son? Yeah. How come you aren't at the soccer game? This is why. I thought taking care of a little duckling was going to be a lot of fun. But I found out it's a lot of work. What about its parents, Franklin? I'll bet they're very... Yes, just like we were about you. It doesn't have any parents. That's why Franklin brought him home. I know you wanted to help the duckling, and that's a good thing. But I suspect this little one simply wandered too far from its family to do some exploring. Yeah, it does do a lot of wandering and exploring. Shall we take this guy back to the pond? Will you find its mom and dad? We'll try our best. Thanks, Dad. Hey, there are some big ducks. And little ducks, too. That could be the family we're looking for. Just how they feel. Hey, there they are! Do you want to play soccer or what? I sure do. Come on, Bear. Another happy ending. Yes, everyone is back where they belong. <laughs> Bear.